Hey, welcome back. Hey. To, welcome back to Table Talk Truth mm-hmm. with Papa C and Mama C. How you doing, Mama? I'm great. As I always great. say, we woke up to a new day, so I feel like we're blessed. Yes, we, we back to the table again, Mama, and we dealing, hopefully, with this issue for the last time, <laughs> right, Mama. We right. said we would have come back if they would have did a show, and they actually did it. Right. Which, we all saw that coming, right? Yes, Doug and Joni. <laughs> What's the name of their show? Ministry Now. Wow. So, yes, guys, they <laughs> actually did it. Yes. It happened. Now, Joni and Doug has a television show. Yay, huh? What Ministry some Christians now. would say. Yes. I'm talking about the ones who's been coming against us. <laughs> right, right. They would be applauding. They are, they are applauding it, <laughs> and they're happy, and it, right. it's such a beautiful thing. Right, huh? Mm-hmm. So, yes, let, let's talk about that a little bit. And, Mama, we're not going to keep them long today because mm-hmm. guess what? We have did three shows on Joni and Doug. And, and we gave tons and tons of scriptures exactly. to back up everything. So we're, today won't be anything where we're going to be pulling out scripture verses. Exactly. This is not this, exactly. this, is not this episode. Not at all. It's really a question about you, the listener, and those of you who support right. Joni and Doug. It's really geared towards you guys because... Uh, like it's like we said, Mama, we already addressed this, gave a bunch of scriptures, mm-hmm. had a lot of people come up against us, but mm-hmm. Mom and Papa, see, we used to this. <laughs> yes, we are used to this. We have a lot of people who have tried to come with this, that bullying spirit, yeah, trying to bully yeah. us, and I just don't think they get it. Exactly. I mean, we've heard everything all the way to, what, go jump in the yes. lake. Yes. Um, yes. you guys are what they said. We're um, we're haters. We're jealous. We're haters. We're jealous. Yes. Oh my goodness! Every bad thing you could think about. There's some other stuff too. Disgruntled. They call yes. us. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, pests. Yes. Woo! Every name you could think about in the book. And their favorite one. You are judging. You're ju- Oh my goodness. You're judging, Mama. It's like a repeated cycle. Yes. Just, yes. It's like. And the sad part about it for us is that when we hear that mm-hmm. and it's consistent, we often think and, and really it, we, we, we feel sad mm-hmm. for some people. Yes, because a lot of them are speaking in ignorance. In ignorance. A lot of people, they just cherry pick one Bible verse and they think the whole Bible is about that one verse that, that, one they, verse. that they picked out. Stop judging. Yes. That is so common. <laughs> and I'm like. They don't even realize that they're judging us for judging and that everybody judges. And pretty much almost everything that comes out of our mouth is a judgment that we're forming about a situation. Yes, yes. So bless their hearts, mama. Bless their little heart. We are elders, so we, we... We know where they're at. We we give them a little bit of grace because we understand that they speak out of ignorance. Right. They know not what they do. Right. As they would say. Right. But um but they try to throw everything at us but but the kitchen sink. Sometimes they threw that also. <laughs> but um again, mom and papa see we we're built for this. So Right. It, it's no big deal to it us. Won't but work. we, we want to thank all of our supporters. A lot of Absolutely. you guys, you know your word also and you're coming in the comments. Mm-hmm. And addressing these people who don't really know the scripture. Absolutely. So, and that's commendable. Yes. Because we actually see that there yes. are still people in the world that are not playing church. Exactly. That are actually trying to live upright. Exactly. And trying to live up to the most high standards. Exactly. Although we know we're fallible. Mm-hmm. That we fall short. We don't make excuses. Absolutely. For, for sin. Absolutely. And we don't make excuses for doing any type of wrong in life. Absolutely. So let, let's talk right quick about the show. We, You and I, we actually watched a little bit of it the other day. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just felt weird. It just felt awkward looking at that show. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> a lot of people commented that they saw it and they had to turn it off because <laughs> they felt like us. That this thing, just, it just looks awkward. It looks awkward. It feels awkward. Um, Doug, I, I think he felt like... Again, this is just my opinion. Papa Mm -hmm. C watching what he's looking at on the screen. Mm -hmm. I have a right to my opinion. Right, Mama? Exactly. Everybody else do, right? Exactly. But a lot of people would would have us shut up and not say anything. Right. But that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's our microphone and we paid for it, Mama. Exactly. And if you don't, (laughs) what they usually say, if you don't like the heat, get out the kitchen. Absolutely. That's just what it is. Y'all better get out of Mama's kitchen, I tell you. (laughs) Or Papa's kitchen. (laughs) Oh. 
but yeah, we saw the episode and it just looked uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doug, like I said, I think he thought that he would have been a natural on camera because he's been on the camera so many times. But mm-hmm. in this situation, you can see that he looks awkward. Yes. He looks out of place. That he, he Now he's in the position where he really has to carry the show right. along with Joni. So right. now it, you can see where it's Joni that's carrying the show. Absolutely. And kind of guiding him through the process with the interviews where he's stumbling and tripping up over himself. <laughs> so it's just funny and awkward to watch. But hey, mm-hmm. that's what they signed up for and, right. and more power to them. Right. And, and I'll add this and what, what this episode is really all about mm-hmm. is to you that supported Daystar I, we saw a lot of you who said, well, you're just not going to watch that show. Mm-hmm. You're going to watch other things. You find benefit in other shows that are on the channel. Mm-hmm. And we talked about this uh, in other episodes where we're saying, by you by you having that belief, by you taking that stance that, yeah, you know what? I'm not just going to watch this show. I'll watch, and I'll watch this other one. Mm-hmm. You're strengthening their hand by right. supporting the channel. Yes. Overall, just by supporting just supporting the Daystar, channel by giving them views. I mean, period. Right, yes. by watching. You're yes. still supporting still what supporting, they're doing. You're yes. still signing off and saying you're okay with what happened. Right, right. You're still signing off on it because they are the head. Right. They're the leaders of the Daystar Network. Right. And by accepting it and saying, I'm going to watch these other channels, yeah, I may donate to other causes that's not that... Uh, they star represent or they star pushes. Mm-hmm. You're still strengthening their hand, guys. Right. And you have to take a stance. That's what we're trying to say. Yes. You have to take a stance against what they're doing. Absolutely. So our question is: Are you still going to support they star? Right. You have something to add, Mama? I would say for us, we own the only reason why we seen it is because we had reports, right, that came from other you know believers right. that told us that. They, you know, they right put when they came out. back from right. vacation, I mean, from their honeymoon. Hey, now they're on television. They're on so television it's like, together. wow, they actually did it. They actually wow, did it. Wow, <laughs> we couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, it was so quick. Right, right after honey, after the honeymoon. Exactly. Wow, right. we're on the show. We're on television now. Right. Yes, and we have our own series. Yes, now. Mm-hmm. and um, that's what made us look at it. But right. definitely, like what Papa C is saying, the the question is, will you still support it? Because um. That right there will tell a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very important that you don't support, you know, um, you know, something that's wrong, that you know in your heart was wrong. Mm -hmm. We know, I mean, a lot of us, I'm not going to say a lot of us, a lot of people who are on this channel do agree with a lot of what we said. Right. Pertaining to Doug and Joni. They believe that the union is is wrong. Mm-hmm. They believe that Doug is still spiritually married to his wife. And yes. all of these things. Yes. And the sad part about it is that we've got so many people that just came in and just was concerned about Joni. And what about Joni? And she's free. She's free. She's free. Mm-hmm. Not understanding that she is strengthening the hands. Hmm. Of the wrongdoer, yes. which is Doug, yes. who have decided to yes. walk away from his marriage. Yes. And for many of you who are coming, and this is the sad thing what we said before about Jimmy Evans. He has allowed, him and Doug both, has allowed so many people to assume the worst when it comes to Lisa. Mm-hmm. We've seen so many people saying, I wonder, did she commit adultery? She must have. How we know she didn't commit adultery? Yes. And that has been the most saddest part for us because if you go back and you listen to the the, the episode on um, Daystar yes. with D- Jimmy Evans introducing Doug, well, before Doug was introduced, mm-hmm. he, he gave all of the reasons why a person could leave their mate. I mean, their, their husband or their wife. But one thing he never said was adultery. So I think it's important for a lot of people who are listening... To remember that. If anything, they would have want people to know that part. If it really was adultery, because that would have been Doug's way out. Exactly. Why in the world would they say, oh, I don't want to say anything about it? Because that would have been... You think Doug would would have wanted, and Joni would have wanted all of the backlash that they're getting right now? Exactly. If that was the case, oh, hey... That would have been way easier for yes. him to just say she was committing adultery. Committed so I adultery. left. Yep. So because I'm free. Everybody, nobody would be saying anything 
about what happened exactly. now. Because they'd have been like, well, we get it. Yep. He can he can move on because yes. she committed adultery on him. Yes. So we got to make it make sense, you guys. But you know what people are saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, Doug protected his wife. That's why he didn't say anything. So he protected his wife and his kids, right? Mm-hmm. By mm-hmm. Uh, publishing this thing, by blurting this thing all over social media. Mm-hmm. For a guy that's not a social media guy, mm-hmm. he's letting Jonas uh, flash him everywhere and, and put him mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. All over her social media, all over Daystar. Mm-hmm. So this thing is public and out in the open and letting people assume the worst, the worst. by and not explaining what happened. Absolutely. And he's protecting her by allowing Jimmy Evans to paint a negative image of her. Let's think about that. It doesn't make sense. It Mama. doesn't make sense. It doesn't make Why sense. Why would, if he was protecting her, he wouldn't have wanted to be brought out, period. Mm-hmm. Don't say anything because exactly. I don't want people to go around exactly. speculating, assuming the worst yes. Yes. about Lisa. It's easily, he could have easily said, you know what, Joni, let's not do this episode. Let's just go off and get married and then people won't know or we'll keep it on the cover. Right. And let, just let people think what they want. Let them think but what they not want. Gonna put, but we're just going to put it out there and say we married. Exactly. But I'm not going to speak nothing bad exactly. or make people assume nothing bad about my yes. ex-wife. Yes. So we got to make it make sense, you guys. Some things are very obvious. Yes. And the things that are not obvious to some people is because what they're doing is they're putting their situations mm. in it. Yes. A lot of people are comparing <laughs> their lives to Joni. And does life when they are not in ministry positions. They are not in leadership positions. Exactly. They are average, ordinary people. And a lot of people are comparing apples to oranges. Right. Their situations don't align with what happened with Doug and Joni. It just just like what you said, Mama. These Mm -hmm. people are in ministry, held to a whole different standard than your average person. Standard. An average person lives a private life. Absolutely. These people are public figures. Public figures. In the spotlight each and every day. Yes. So you can't say shut up about their lives. And these people are live a public life each and every day. And they make money off of this, off of their public lives. Absolutely. So people have a right to voice their opinion. And to tell us shut up, be quiet, is none of our business. When they are the ones who put their business out in front of the public. Exactly. <laughs> and the sad part about it is... So many people have came against us Mm -hmm. as though we are the ones who put this information out first. Mama, are we the National (laughs) Enquirer? Are we, do we have reporters that sneaking around and behind bushes? Absolutely not. Snapping pictures of Joni and and Doug? This story was already out before we put it out. Where are we getting these pictures from and all this information from? (laughs) Right. Where is it coming from? We're getting it right off of social media. Off of social media. Where they are publishing it. Where it it is public. Out for the public. Period. So it's not our fault, guys. Don't get mad at us. And to make it our make it our fault because of their mess. Yes. They the one started this mess in the first place. Exactly. The whole situation is messy. Yes. And at the same time too, those who are talking about gossip, if you're following this hmm. and you feel this is gossip and you're following all of this, mm-hmm. then what does that make you? Absolutely. You aren't gotta you, ask yourself. Aren't they judging? Huh. <laughs> aren't they Papa C? Aren't, aren't they, they judging? Aren't they? That, that's what we should say, right? Right. When they say that, we should tell them, stop judging us. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like they tell us, right? Stop yes, judging. Stop judging us. But to call this gossip, but you're following all of it, mm-hmm. I mean, we have to make it make sense. Yes. It says a lot about them. How is it gossip when it's public? Right. Right. So You know? Yes. Yeah. So, guys, really, this is kind of our episode. Like we said, it's going to be short. We just want to get on here and ask you. You want to add something, Mama? I want to mm-hmm. say the part about... The people who are, which is not many, who are but, saying the, we're but jealous. the select few, right? The, the select few who have came and said, you you guys are jealous, yes. and have even accused other believers of being jealous, yes. just for simply voicing their upright opinions, exactly, and speaking on what they know, judging from the scriptures, is right yes. and wrong. Yes, and they're coming and saying you're just jealous. Hmm. Let me say this: when you do that. Also, when you come and say congratulations to jo- thinking that they're mocking us yes. and putting it on the wall, yes. you know what? This is how we view it. Mm-hmm. We view it as you're mocking the most high. Yes. You are not mocking us at all. Exactly. Because all we did was put it out and yes. we used scriptures. Exactly. To share that it was not right according to scripture. Absolutely. So if you're doing that, 
That's between you and the most high. Yes. You are not affecting us. Yeah, absolutely. You are mocking him. And mama, and, we, go ahead, not to cut you off, but we mm -hmm. said in the, in the last video that mm -hmm. the most high has already judged us. We, right. You and I, we can't condemn anybody to hell. Right. We're absolutely. not the most high. It's He's already judged the situation. He judged it already. All we did was compare their behavior to what the right. scriptures say. That's all we did. Yes. That's what we stood on. Because everything is already preordained. Exactly. So the situation is already judged. It has mm -hmm. nothing to do with condemning the couple. Yes. It's putting it in the most high's hands yes. now. Yes. But what we're saying is when you say jealous, I think you need to think about who's really jealous. Mm-hmm. The only one that's really jealous is the most high God. Yes. Because in his word, he says that he doesn't want us to put any God before him, before him which any is idol. an idol. Yes. And it, remember, we talk, we keep, we hear people say love, love. We're supposed to love people. We're supposed to love our brothers and sisters. But what they're missing is what about the first and the greatest commandment of all that Christ said? He said the first and the greatest commandment is to love the most high God with all of your heart, with yes. all of your soul, with yes. all of your mind, yes. strength. Yes. That is the number one before you love your neighbors. Yes. Because if you do that, mm -hmm. you're going to automatically love your neighbors. Mama C, let's give them a quick lesson. What does love, according to the scriptures, what does love, what's the definition of love? How do you love the most high God? Loving. How do you love the most high God according to the scriptures? How does how do you show him that you love him? By keeping his commandments. By keeping, By keeping his keeping statutes his, and his commandments. His, yes. And that's what we were doing, pointing out that they were not, their behavior, their actions is not keeping up with the commandments, commandments. and what the scriptures say. Yes. That's what we're saying. And when and when Christ said the two and the greatest commandments, mm -hmm. remember he said one was to love the, just like, like I said, to love the most high with all of your heart. So mind and strength, but also to love your neighbor as yourself. He said yes. on those who hang all of the commandments. Yes. And if you go back into the old covenant scriptures, which a lot of people feel is done away with, yes. but the morality of it and the principles in it is still is still valid, um, valid yes. today. Mm -hmm. And you go back and you look at the Ten Commandments. The first half was about loving the Heavenly Father with yes. all of your heart, soul, mind and strength. Yes. And the other half was about how to love your neighbors as yourself. Yes. And you take it from a spiritual perspective, mm. it all goes hand in hand, you Absolutely. guys. So if you're if you're putting your neighbor before you're putting God, something then is something is wrong. You're yes. doing it backwards. Yes. Because yes. even we've heard someone <clears throat> talk about rebuking people mm -hmm. and said Christ didn't rebuke people. That's a lie. And we went back and we was like, hold on. Didn't didn't Christ himself say those he loved, he rebukes? Yes. And that's all over in scripture where it talks about rebuking. And plus, didn't he flip tables? He flipped the money tables. Yes, he did. With the money changers? Yes. So it's so many scriptures we can give, but we're mm -hmm. not going to do that because we know that what we're doing or when we do something, we already align what we're doing to scripture. Yes, absolutely. So great points, Mama. Way to uh, end on that note. We just want to say, really, guys, the, the ball is in your court. Mm -hmm. Like Mama and Papa C said. The Most High has already judged this. Yes. The Most High has already judged Period. this situation. And the question to you is, is are you going to continue to support Daystar? Absolutely. They've done it. Now Doug sits in Joni's. I mean, now Doug sits in Marcus's seat. Mm -hmm. We all know the story about how it all went mm -hmm. down. We still haven't heard Lisa's side of the story yet. But right. just from public information, what we see, what we saw. We saw that this thing stinks. It doesn't look right. Right. Just on the surface of it. Yes. But again, the ball is in you guys' court. Will you continue to support Daystar? And again, it goes back to what a lot of people are saying. I'll add this too, Mama. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are saying, pray for Joni. Pray for Joni. Pray for Joni. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pray for Joni that she'll get out of this. Well, mm -hmm. guys, I'm, I'm, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, mm -hmm. but Joni has made her decision. Mm -hmm. She has made her covenant with Dub. Yes. So it's really it's no turning back from that. Yes. They're not just while gonna, he is still in covenant exactly, with his wife. Covenant with, with his, his wife. With his, his ex -wife. first wife. Yes. So, so what does and, and a lot of you who are saying, oh, she's free, she's yes. okay, and all of this. She was definitely free. Right. But just because you're free because your husband has died or your wife has died doesn't mean that you can go and choose whomever you want. Whoever you choose still has That's, to align yes. with, with the, the word. word. Yes. Period. Period. And if you go alone with someone who is committing adultery, 
then what does that say about you? That does not excuse you from doing the same thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great point, Mama. So we're just going to leave them with that. The mm-hmm. ball is in their court now. Yes. We know that we're not watching. No. <laughs> we're not watching no Daystar. Way. We're not supporting Daystar. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that is, is again, it's, it's your God's decision. Mm-hmm. You're going to decide if you're going to support it, if you're going to strengthen the hand of right. wrongdoing. You guys who have any questions, go back and listen to the other three episodes. We laid the whole story out of how this whole ordeal played out. Yes. So, Mama, we're going to end on that. Let's clear the table. <laughs> That's it. And we're going to talk to you guys on the next one. See you All guys right. later. See you later.